फ्लेवर्स इसे शिल्पी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक गोभी टिक्का मसाला इट्स अ रेस्टोरेंट स्टाइल करी व्हिच यू कैन सर्व एज अ मेन कोर्स इन पार्टीज एंड पॉटलक्स इफ यू आर बोर्ड विद योर रेगुलर गोभी रेसिपी ट्राई दिस गोभी टिक्का मसाला आई एम श्योर यू आर गोइंग टू लव दिस रेसिपी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड हेयर इज द इंग्रेडिएंट लिस्ट यू कैन आल्सो सी इट विद द डिटेल रेसिपी एंड टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स इन माय ब्लॉग www.foodsandflavorsbyshilpi.com To make gobi tikka masala we need 3 cup of cauliflower which i have cut in small pieces today i am also using 2 3 cup of bell peppers or capsicum which i have cut in squares and i'll also be using half cup of onions which i cut in big pieces now let's start with the marinade first for this i'll take half cup of thick yogurt or curd to this i'll add half teaspoon of garam masala powder half teaspoon of turmeric powder half teaspoon of red chili powder 1 tablespoon of dry fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi which i'll crush with my hands to enhance the flavor and also to break them in small pieces add some salt and now i'll add lemon juice it's almost 1 tablespoon of lemon juice let me take out the seeds and now i'll whisk everything together And now I'll take all the vegetables and put them in a marinade. Give a nice mix so that all the vegetables are nicely coated with mixture. I'll cover it and keep it in the fridge for 3-4 hours. After 4 hours I have taken it out from the fridge. And now I'll mix it up again. And now it's time to shallow fry them. For this let's switch to the stove. I've heated the pan at medium heat. Pour some oil and transfer these marinated vegetables in the pan and saute for some time. As you can see vegetables are little roasted and got some color. I'll cover them and reduce the heat to medium low and let the vegetables cook for some time. I'll cook till cauliflower become little soft. I'm doing this as I'm not going to cook cauliflower in gravy for long time. I'll saute these vegetables couple of time in between so that they won't get stick to the pan. I'll cover it again and cook it for some more time. Let's check the vegetable now. You can see they are nicely roasted and little soft. I'll saute them in open for few more minutes so they get some more color. Now I'll switch off the heat and transfer them in a bowl. Gobi tikka is ready. Let's make masala for it, and then we'll mix them together and cook it for some more time. So let's start with the masala now. For the gravy, I've heated the pan at medium high heat. Pour one fourth cup of oil. Today we are using more oil as we will make this gravy thick and we'll not add lot of water. Oil will help in getting the nice texture and consistency. Now I'll add one teaspoon of cumin seeds and half teaspoon of fennel seeds, one big cardamom or badi lychee, one small cardamom or choti lychee, few cinnamon sticks or dalchini. 2-3 cloves or long, and saute it for few seconds. And now I'll add one tablespoon of grated ginger. Stir it and let it cook for few seconds. Now I'll add tomatoes. This is two medium-sized tomato which I have already grinded in mixi. It's almost become one cup of puree. Stir it and cook till oil comes out. It might take couple of minutes. Stir it occasionally so that tomato won't get stick to the bottom. As you can see, oil is coming out. It's time to add spices. I'll add half teaspoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder, and two teaspoon of coriander powder, and mix all the spices in the gravy. Now I'll add one teaspoon of tomato ketchup. And to give the sweeter taste, I'll add two teaspoon of honey. Here I have one teaspoon of corn flour that I've already mixed in three tablespoon of water. I'll add this to the gravy, mix it, and let it boil for few seconds. As you can see, masala is oozing oil. I'll add almost one fourth cup of water. We'll not add too much of water, otherwise gravy will become runny and won't taste good. Now let it boil for few minutes till oil comes out. In between add some salt. 
Don't add too much of salt as vegetables are already salted. As you can see gravy is losing oil. I'll add 1/4 cup of fresh cream and stir it continuously otherwise cream will curdle. Now I'll add roasted vegetables and mix everything together. And now cover it and let it cook for few minutes and don't forget to stir in between after some time. It's been almost 5 minutes. Let me check the veggies. They look soft, still little crunchy and nicely coated with masala. In this recipe, we don't need to overcook the veggies. They should be little crunchy when you serve. Looks like gobi tikka masala is done. Let me switch off the heat and serve it in a bowl. serve this gobi tikka masala with naan or misi roti you can also check my recipes for naan and misi roti on my channel hope you like them for recipes and more visit my channel and don't forget to subscribe it thanks for watching my video see you next time